Look, ooh, look. Letter from the from Misham. Letter posted by True Misham just before dying. Poison Trace has found the stamp. There's an address on here and a name I've never heard of. So Crystal probably used a fake name. At least I think so. It's too blurry to read. The stamp is of the Grand Maris, isn't it? Why did Mr. Wright give this give me this letter right before the trial? What could it mean? What the yellow envelope? How does he Phoenix Wright have it in? Now Apollo the has what? Okay. That's just weird. Anyway. I have been in solitary if I'm happy, how could I poison her? Magic! No, okay. He's not a magician. Can't you still make contact with the outside world in solitary? Objection! Ah, so you had an echo was on the outside? Is this your latest accusation? I am allowed to search your mo modicum of letter writing. Objection! But the contents of those letters are closely checked. It would be extremely difficult to set a hit request. I think Ab is on the warpath, isn't he? Yeah, you think so too, Trucy? I bet I know why. He must be nervous with Big Brother watching. Hmm, and maybe that's some weakness I can turn to my advantage. Are we cool with that? May I continue? No, you may not. Okay, whatever. The father died of the same poison, but the meaning should be clear. The defense is not dead yet! She is not dead yet. There are no known cases of someone surviving a chocolate poisoning. You seem to know a lot about a chocolate. I know a lot about a lot of things, which is why I suggest we pick up the pace, or else you'll be short one defendant for what she's worth. As she says, he says with a smile on his face. But this will refrain from speaking ill. The ill. My apologies. Shall I continue? Kristoff. Oh gosh. The prosecution's case holds that she poisoned the father, attempted to poison herself. I don't need to press anything, really, but I wanted to. I had no reason to want to commit suicide, and also, who would have committed suicide by doing their nails? Objection! The answer's quite simple. Basically, allow me to explain. Beginning with why did she do it? The answer is quite simple. She couldn't live with her own guilt. Next, why did she use nail polish to poison herself? This is too simple. So she could die doing something that she liked. Biting nails? Something that she liked? When she saw that the trial wasn't going her way, she knew she would die. And it's not easy to bring poison to a courtroom. Must I explain further? Hmm, I believe that's clear enough. Crystal clear. Wow, the two brothers are together like a two-man wrecking team. They could use a little more teamwork, though. Sure, you aren't going to suggest I was responsible for poisoning father, too. Both Vier and Mr. Misham were poisoned with our chocodine. That really can't be a coincidence. Objection! The defense is repeating fallacious statements based on a conjecture. The prosecution requests concrete and ambiguous proof of the witness's crime. Uh, objection sustained. The defense will please just present concrete proof. Does Prosecutor Gavin seem strange to you too? It's like he's all grown up. I think that's how Prosecutor here is supposed to be actually. Though he is acting different than usual. I'll bet it has a lot to do with this brother Crystal being in the room. Well, let's make the testimony count, Apollo. Right, quick and painless. My bracelet should do the trick. Okay, I'm questioning my ex boss. His testimony seems rather tight, but he's lying. I'm sure I'll be able to see something as long as I focus. So all you gotta do is find the part that he's lying. Whoops. Caesar bracelet. Okay, this is gonna be kind of creepy. Look at his eyes. Look, his eyes are so creepy. Ah. Uh, ooh, he has a scar. He has a scar on his arm, on his hand. But yeah. Ah. I already know which part to press. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, that is Truly, truly freakishly creepy. It's the devil! It's the devil on his hand. So, remember Vera said before she fainted? The devil? Yeah, that's what she means. And that talking to Phoenix, 
she saw the devil, or maybe an angel, but really the devil. So her father too. She's lying. He's lying. He really did poison her father as well. It was you who killed Drew Misham. Killing two birds with one stone. Figure out who killed Drew Misham and poisoned Pierre Misham. A bluff for your new mentor, Mr. Wright. Is he jealous that Paul has a new mentor? Oh, really? But you see, I saw it. Right when you said her father, too. Your hand tensed unnaturally, and a little devil appeared to give me the news. Yeah, you can't hide from us. We has, we has the eyes. We has the eyes. And let's assume for the sake of our mentor that you saw me being tense. What does that mean? Are all tense witnesses guilty? Well, that's true. And tell me, was Drew Misham fond of nail polish too? Of course, people would be tense when they're being questioned, even if they are, they were innocent. That's why uh, those what guilt detectors or what's it called again? Truth, truth detectors things they don't really work. Sorry, but there's more than one way to poison a man. You don't need nail polish to get to someone's mouth. Then I must be a very ba talented indeed. Must be very talented indeed. Yeah. You see, Dreamishdown was killed on October 6th. While well, I was already in my solitary confinement cell at Central Prison. The same with Vera. If that's not an alibi, then I don't know what is. But you found a way, all the same. And I found it too. He's bad now. This is how you poison Mr. Misham. Yep, the yellow envelope. My, oh, wrong thing. <laughs> My mind here. I thought you'd come so far, huh? I don't uh, how you lacking any confidence whatsoever. Choose to bear on your defense lacks even shred of elegance. Much like getting strike. Come to think of it. Ouch, pain. Relax, just as I come this far. I must know the answer. How did the killer get to his victims when the killer was in jail? I can't believe I messed that up. I can't believe I'm still messing up. Ah, I'm. I... Jeez, how can I not remember? Happy moon. Of course, the stamp. Duh! I can't believe I messed that up. Seriously, I'm sure this commemorative stamp requires requires no introduction. The night Mr. Misham died, he was seen writing a letter. A truck and was found on the stamp, Mr. Gavin. Where on earth did we got the stamp? Phoenix must have given it to him. So am I just interested? Uh, so am I. Uh, is it really? Like, we didn't have the stamp before because we had the missing stamp. Let me check. No, that's all. He's gonna. I can't really accept it. Whatever. So am I to understand the stamp was the murder weapon? Yes, you are. Oh, and yes. This that was found in your prison cell. The Phoenix suck, I guess. Hmm. That is all, Your Honor. I can't believe I messed it up. I'm, I'm so ashamed. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Purple poison on the back of that stamp? After Drew Misham was killed, someone paid a visit to, the, uh, to this witness's cell. Phoenix right. Daddy? That's why he found the stamp. You made Drew Misham write you a letter. That's how you killed him. What? My, my. You've upset my poor brother to the point of uselessness. Allow me to clarify this matter, Justice. All you need to do, all you need to do is... Uh, all you need to do is recall witness Spark Brushel's testimony. Well, that's the thing. See? After he put his letter in the envelope, Mr. Beachdown sat there searching his desk, for s desk drawer for something. His desk drawer? Yes, a stamp! A so-called postage stamp! End quote. He was looking for a stamp. Ergo, he had no intention of using this stamp. What are you getting at? What I'm arriving is, is 
at is that this commemorative stamp was in a frame. It was mere coincidence that he used it that night. That would... that would seem to be the case. Or perhaps you mean to suggest that I can somehow manipulate coincidence? Well, you are the devil. Or, I don't know. <laughs> he does have a point. How would you, the witness, know the victim was going to use the stamp? Without that, you couldn't have planned the murder. But what? That's not fair, but, 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 really, Clavier, you should be seeing through these weak spin, weak spine buffs, bluffs by now. He's, these kind of, like, be speechless, yeah. He's right, though. How could anyone have known Mr. Nishan would use us up the night? At least of all, Crystal Gavin walked away in a cell. Well, it seems that the defense has run out of things to say. You assume he has something to say in the first place. I believe the defense's bluff has been called. The defense's bluff? I'm not sure I agree with you there, Kristoff. Oh, he's speaking now. Your clavier? Honestly, I wanted to believe you, but the defense wasn't trying to get away with a bluff. You were, Kristoff! Oh my gosh, he's like pointing his finger at his brother. But what are you saying? Prostitute Gavin! Air forehead. What was your accusation again? Huh? Oh, it was that this poison stamp killed Drew Misha. Yeah. To which my brother responded thusly. There was no way to know when this Misha would use the stamp. Yes, that's right, which is why it could have been planned. Tell me, it needs to be planned. Why? Uh, why could it have been a coincidence? The defense in this case is simply that Drew Misha died by that stamp. That's all. Coincidence? Kristoff, you try to slip out from under his accusation by changing the subject. If that's not bluffing, what is it? What are you up to, Clavier? I could ask you the same question, Kristoff. Brother to brother talking, yep. Heh. <laughs> I silence the defense with the fewest words possible. It's called efficiency. But, but Mr. Gavin, that's an impermissible testimony. Very well, I shall take his claim head on then. Justice. Yeah, justice. But what? You accuse me of Drew Misham's murder? Yes. Then, allow me to ask you, what possible reason could I have to kill a painter? Motive. Apollo motive! He's talking about motive! Hmm, indeed. It's hard to see how an attorney could, could come to want to kill the painter. Now, here's something. Why didn't he bring up the motive from the very beginning? Unless he was afraid it was a battle he might lose. Didn't he say about the motor? Whatever. So what does it mean? It means there might be a weak spot. Maybe I have some evidence to prove a motive. Yeah, I think Russo did say why he would do such like kill him. I don't know. Or was that Vera? A motive for murder. This is a vital, if not the most vital element in this case. Please consider this when making your statement. I say it's about this vital. Ouch. That's pretty vital. Well, Mr. Justice, I'm going through with this with, with this no matter what. Understood, Your Honor. I like to present evidence. Then let's see what you have for us. What reason did Crystal Gavin have for wanting to murder Drew Misham? Uh, I better not mess up. You would want to murder him for... Jeez, it's been so long. No page? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't remember! What reason did he have to kill Drew Misham? Noble page. Yeah, noble page. Crystal Gavin's motor becomes clear when we consider why the stamp came to Drew Misham's studio in the first place. And why was that? Forgery, Your Honor. Let's go back seven years. Drew Misham accepts his first job creating forged evidence. I've seen that before. A page from a diary, wasn't it? Magnifi Grimari's diary. Ah, when attorney finished right lost his badge, yes. This was the evidence he presented to his loss. 
This evidence is a fake, yes? But did Mr. Wright request the forgery to be made? That was never proven! Objection! The defense attorney on that case was Felix Wright, who, other than him, drunk with the prospect of victory, could have done it. And why would they? Just out of curiosity, do you remember this letter? 